So in the last video we saw how to add mixed fractions. This is level 1 for how to subtract mixed fractions. Before moving on to the questions, uh, let us try to visualize this thing. So this is 1 minus a proper fraction. Let us take a simple example. So suppose this is a 1. 1 means a whole pizza or a circle or anything. If I am subtracting suppose 1 by 4 out of it, 1 minus 1 by 4, that means I am giving away one part of it. I've, so I will be remaining with three parts. So answer would be 3 by 4. Let us take one more example. Suppose 1 minus 2 by 3. So one whole, I have one whole thing and I need to give away 2 out of 3. So I will be dividing the circle into three equal parts. So I will be giving away two parts of it. I will be it will be remaining one part. So one upon three is the answer. So we'll be using this understanding while solving these questions. So let us start with the topic. So one minus two by seven. This is one whole and this is a proper fraction. So one can be considered as a whole and I can divide it into seven equal parts. Seven by seven is nothing but uh, is one. So I can write it anyway, 7 by 7, 2 by 2, 3 by 3. So whatever the denominator is, I can write it that way. So I will be getting 5 by 7. So try to understand this thing. If I am subtracting a proper fraction from 1, 1, I am actually subtracting these two. Five, 7 minus 2 is 5 upon 7. Try to understand because this will be very handy in coming levels. See here. I'll do it two ways. So answer would be 2 by 5. I know already. Answer will be this is 13 by 17. I know it within one second because I'm subtracting with 1. So let us see. 1 is a whole. So I will be writing it as 5 by 5 minus 3 by 5. So 5 minus 3 is 2 by 5. I told you. Similarly, 1 can be written as 17 by 17 minus 4 by 17. So 13 minus 4 is, sorry, 17 minus 4 is 13 by 17. So this is a basic understanding. Let's move on to the uh, type 2 question. So these are level 1 questions basically that was level 0. That was a basic understanding which you, we must have. So in this case, this is a whole number 3 minus 2 by 7. This is a proper fraction. So, 3 uh, can be written as 2 plus 1 minus 2 by 7. See, this understanding should be there. I am not suggesting you to write every time. So, 2 plus 1 minus 2 by 7. So, if I solve this thing, we have already done. So, it will be 2 plus 5 by 7. How do I get 5 by 7? 2 minus 7 is 5 by 7. So answer is 2, 5 by 7. So I would like to show you a faster method also. What I have done, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay. And this is 5 by 7. So within one second, I can just find out. Let's see how. So this is a whole and a proper fraction. This is a necessary condition. So whole is 24 minus 1, minus 1, I will be getting 23 and subtracting these two, I will be getting 6 by 10. So 23, 6 by 10. You can do this long method also. I don't have an issue. You can do take the LCM and solve it that way. But the uh, objective of this type of method is to do the fast calculation. It helps us in gaining confidence also. Now, remember, if it can be reduced, reduce it. We have done it in the addition questions also. So, dividing by 2, 3, it will be 5. So, 23, 3 by 5 is the answer. Now, this is a whole, but this is a improper fraction. So, I have to first of all convert it into a proper fraction, a uh, mixed fraction, sorry. So, 4 minus, this will become... 5 2 2 
So we know already this can be split as 2 plus if I am taking it as bracket 4 minus 2 plus 2 by 5. So it will be 4 minus 2 minus 2 by 5. So I am just explaining you a, a whole method. You can do it very fast after a few questions. 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 2 by 5. And this is nothing but this method. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And if I subtract 3 by 5 is the answer. In this case, this is 32 and there is a hole over there. So instead of doing this whole method, what I will be doing is subtracting these two. So 32 minus 2 is 30. Okay, and I have to subtract this 6 by 14 also. So minus 6 by 14. Okay, so I know a whole and a proper fraction minus 1, it will give us 29. And subtracting these two, this is 4 plus 4, 8 by 14. And we can reduce it by 2, it will be getting a, nine, a 4 and a 7. So answer is 29. 4 by 7. Moving on to our last part, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, and I have to subtract these two numbers also 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5. So 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is 1 by 5 is the answer. So let me explain you a proper whole method how I have arrived at very fast. So I have taken denominator the same, don't worry in the next video it will be different denominators, you will be able to see a whole lot of questions over there. So let me just explain you how, how I have done. 3, 2 by 5 is nothing but 3 plus 2 by 5 minus. Just for the explanation I am uh, showing you a long method, this is a shortcut. So 1 plus 1 by 5, open the brackets. 3 plus 2 by 5 minus 1 minus 1 by 5. So 3 minus 1 is 2 and considering these two together, suppose this is this plus 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5, 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is 2 plus 1 by 5 and this will be 2 1 by 5 this we have done in the first video of the series so hope you enjoyed this thing in the next video we will be talking about the more interesting uh, when denominator is different so you will be getting the link in the card or in the description box ask your doubts in the comment section and thank you for watching see you in the next video